Hey guys, it's Nick from Beyond the Specs, and today we've got a very spectacular lens, the Irix 150mm Macro, on this edition of Through the Looking Glass. We think lenses are supremely underrated. If cameras have become the new film stock, lenses are the best way to achieve the signature look that you are looking for. The Irix 150mm Macro is pretty unique in the marketplace. To understand why, we have to talk about macro lenses for a second. Now macro lenses are for capturing really small objects, or really fine details, and the macro portion talks about the lens's ability to reproduce an object to at least a 1 to 1 ratio. If something is 2 millimeters in real life, then it will be projected at 2 millimeters on the sensor at its maximum focus point. And that's the floor, that's the bare minimum to be a macro lens. Some macro lenses are 2 times macro, some are 10 times macros, and at that point you're actually getting something that's like a microscope more than a camera lens. The Irix 150mm is a T3 at a 1 to 1 macro. T3, it's not the fastest lens on the market, but considering it's a 150mm lens at this price point, it's a willing compromise. Wide open, the depth of field that it renders is super shallow at close focus, and we're going to be talking more about why that can be useful later. Irix, if you don't know, is a German-owned Chinese boat manufacturer. They entered the market with a series of super interesting still photography lenses, and now those lenses are in the same vein as Lawa, where they've been creating some unorthodox focal lengths for some specialty purposes. This lens that we have here is a PL mount, and that's pretty unique because there aren't a whole lot of PL macro lenses at this price point. We also have the Tokina 100mm macro, and that review is in the description, and soon you'll see a head-to-head -head battle where we put them to the test to give you a 10,000 foot view. But when it comes to macro lenses, you know, Ari makes a set of macro lenses that have been the high-end standard. Each of those lenses runs for about 40K per lens. And if you talk about Cook and IBE optics, they're still up there about 10K per lens. And that's really the gamut of macro lenses in the PL world. And so for us, we were super excited with the introduction of the Irix 150 because it's a PL mount glass for $1,100. $1,100, like what? Now that we've talked about the background of this lens, let's get into the actual build quality. And the Irix 150 millimeter is super nice. It's all metal, it's aluminum, it's lightweight, it feels great. Uh, the only thing that's made of plastic is this lens hood. And this lens hood is pretty nifty because it's magnetic, there's like nothing that you have to do. And I just thought, you know, that was a nice little touch by Irix to throw in. When it comes to the actual build quality of the lens itself, let's get into the iris first. The iris ring is smooth, and if you're a little bit picky, it's a touch bit grainy. But when you go over to the focus, that focus ring is buttery, it's super smooth, it's super nice, it has a great throw to it. And you know, it has that classic 0.8 pitch cinema gearing that makes like our lives super easy. You put your follow focus on, and. I have no doubt that you will not be slipping on this lens. It's no cook, but it does have some nice hard stops at the edges, and it's just really nice and smooth. Now, when it comes to the build itself, you know, the lens itself in the hand feels great. It's lightweight. It's not as huge as other macro lenses, but it is a little bit front heavy. But that being said, I would still throw this on the gimbal if I had the chance. Now, when we talk about lenses and lens performance, we talk about how sharp a lens is. But when it comes to macro lenses in general, you also have to talk about how narrow that depth of field is. Because lenses in the macro world are exceptionally sharp, but they have such a narrow and razor thin depth of field, especially at close focus. And you really need this lens to be in a very well controlled environment because you need to control that chromatic aberration and also make sure you're not losing that very fine detail if you go out of that depth of field. What's the point of a macro lens if it's not very sharp and it doesn't perform well? The answer is nothing. We've shot with Aris, we've shot with Cooks, and we've shot with Tokina macros. And we can say with confidence that this Irix is one of the best macro lenses on the market. After looking at Nikon on Canon sentries for the 100mm macros, none of them even come close to touching the performance of this lens at this price point. And when you're trying to isolate a product in the background, this lens is just makes for an absolutely soft and really gorgeous background. That outer field area is super smooth and it's not very busy or chaotic in the background and that's one thing we love about this lens. In focus plane rendering is super sharp and we also love that about this lens because if you're trying to get those crisp small details like little flakes of flour on a biscuit or you know, a nice amber glow of honey as it rolls down a pancake. That's where this lens is truly remarkable because it captures some fine, fine details. We've also shot this lens in more of an interview setup and the level of optical compression at 150 millimeters is very pleasing and the background and depth of field is super shallow and it just makes for a really gorgeous image. This lens also has barely any distortion and there's a slight pin cushioning effect, but you know, it's barely there. 
Breathing is a slight issue, but that just comes with the territory of it being a macro lens and also a macro lens for $1,000. And there's just no way of getting this level of close focus without a significant amount of breathing. And as a result, we've been super happy with every time this lens has performed. Let's talk about value. And there's not a whole lot out there for a good comparison to this lens at this price. Because if you need a PL mount lens, you're typically working with the Aries or the Cooks or the IBE optics. And at this price point for a PL lens, it's unrivaled. If you need something that is gonna get you exquisite details and really render a really pleasing focus area at a shallow depth of field, I believe that this is a great tool in your Cinemac tool belts. Our first purchase before this was the 100mm macro Tokina. Having purchased that one and comparing it to this one, I can really say that they've both been very effective in their fields, but I would really love to use this one a lot more because this is my favorite macro lens on the market. But I also think that it's versatile in other areas as well. Strongly suggest people get this lens because we bought this lens with our own money and you know, we love it and we throw it on professional shoots all the time. And it just is reliable, it performs well, and is one of our favorite macros on the market. Thank you guys for watching this episode through Looking Glass. I'm Nick from Beyond the Specs. Like, comment, subscribe. Throw your questions and comments down below. Share with us your work and tell us what you guys want to see more of. Take care guys, stay creative, and peace.